Okay, this is the three layer compression wrap skill. I'm going to do a quick setup. So I'm going to squirt my hands, rub with hand sanitizer, and then I'm going to open the three layer wrap. And you can either go through the bag or just make sure you're only touching the paper on the cotton layer and set it in the center. And then place the other two rolls on the edge. And then hang some paper tape. For each. Um, one for the first layer, two for the second layer is what I like to do. So then um, you're going to invite your patient to Come on in. So, hi, Linda. How are you today? Good. How was your wrap from last week? It felt beautiful. <laughs> of course it did. Okay, so we've taken off her old wrap, and we have done her wound care, and we're going to do an, a new one. So, I'm going to go ahead and squirt my hands. And ear dry. Gloves on. And remember when you're putting gloves on, not to like manhandle the finger area. You want to try work with just the wrists more until your glove. Then you can do this end. So again, we're trying to minimize um, bugs down at this end. Um, okay, so Linda, I am going to wrap you back up with the three-layer wrap. I'm going to start with the cotton layer again, and this is just to protect your skin from the fabric of the second layer, but also to evenly distribute the pressure, okay? So a nice, good um, dorsiflexion, and I'm just going to spiral this up the foot. And I told you that you could skip the heel for getting um, things into shoes, but I think it'll be easier for you to just remember to include the heel in everything. And then a little extra bump over the dorsum of the ankle where the anterior tib runs through. And it's not super important, but you can start to lay these um, little puckering things down by pleating them and folding them over. And then remember, you're starting at the base of the toes and going all the way up to the tibial tubercle. So I'm going to have you lift up a little. And you can tell I'm making it snug, but it's not the compressive layer. It's just a really nice flat profile. So then this is the compressive layer. This is the one that's doing a lot of active squeezing. So Linda's doing a very good job dorsiflexing, and, but it's my job to make sure she still continues to do so. With this layer, I really do like to um, make sure I'm wrapping right over the met heads. And that this is snug, no wrinkles, here on the first turn. And for people of longer feet, the second turn might um, not get them to the ankle. But once you're starting to get to the ankle, you're going to have to ease up and put it down loosely. So I'm not really going to pull here. I'm just going to make it so it doesn't gap or is flapping in the breeze. And once you start crossing the malleoli, which I feel like I'm getting at now, but I, I have to come down and grab this. So I'm not going to pull too tightly just yet, but this one I feel like I can. So this is where I'm going to really stretch my rectangles into squares and follow with my backhand to make sure I have no wrinkles. spiral at the end just to lock on and again I'm really up nicely at the base of the knee so you can put two on here sometimes I like to put one over the um, the heel here so that as people are walking that these layers don't flex and move on them too much we're gonna skate on this tape today and then my Coban layer. So it doesn't matter which direction I do it in, I've just chosen one. And this 
the primary goal of this layer is to keep all the second layer in place and then build up some of the wall. Again, not to be too tight. And notice I'm pulling it off the roll and relaxing the coban. Oops, but I, see how I'm sort of gapping here? Let's go back and fix that. If you figure out you've done something wrong, always figure out a way to go back and fix it and get your points back. Okay, so let me try that again. You can always pull to stretch it out a little. And then as I'm getting back here, I'm going to take the extra, pleat it, and fold it over. education. So Linda, I want you to know that I don't think I wrapped this wrap too tightly, but if it is too tight, you might feel numbness or tingling in your toes, pain that goes from the ankle radiating up or down. Um, and if you are having any pain, I don't want you to have pain. I want you to take the brown layer off first. And if you are relieved and things are comfortable, great. Um, just tape some of your outer layers in place. But if that doesn't do it, I want you to take all of the three press off and um, give me a call, leaving the dressing on, and then give me a call at the clinic and let me know, and then I can try and fit you in. Um, or I may just say, okay, we'll have you rewrap the ACE wrap part just gently to have some compression until your next visit. But we don't want you to have your circulation cut off, so definitely take it off if you're having any pain. Do you understand? Yes. Awesome. Okay. So just double check your ankle range that you're not buckling in here and that you've double checked here. And then at the very end, so thank you very much, Linda. I'm going to, to get my final set of points, take off my gloves and throw them out. And always, always, always finish with the squirt with the hands. <laughs>